Hey guys, tonight I'm here with the 2018 Chevrolet Tahoe RST. This is the performance edition. So it's got the Borla exhaust, the nice six pot Brembo brakes, and of course the venerable 6.2 liter V8. Added to that is the magnetic ride control suspension, specifically tuned to this truck. Tonight, I not only wanted to show what the truck looks like at nighttime with the lighting and the interior lights and just kind of see what it's like to drive in the dark, but also it gives us just a little bit of an opportunity to do kind of a performance review on this truck and maybe drive it a little bit more spiritedly than we would during the daytime with a little bit more traffic. You can see here we've got some nice interior LEDs that light up this massive interior pretty well. And I do like this white. It looks fantastic with these 22 inch wheels and uh, really kind of stands out. This truck gets a lot of, just a lot of positive attention from anyone who sees it. And I think this package not only looks great, but performs really well on the street. So let's get into that. Do a little startup for you guys. Everything's nice and warmed up. You can hear that Borla exhaust. It's an option for this RST Tahoe. Definitely a box that I would check on this truck. It is a really nice system. Zero drone on the highway and just sounds nice and throaty. For this drive tonight, we're gonna to leave the car in four-wheel drive auto, which is gonna be primarily rear-wheel drive, but we'll send some power to the front wheels if we need it. I tend to uh, feel that the truck has a little bit less understeer in four auto, and tends to be a little bit more neutral around the corners. This does, I, I think it has 51.6 percent weight distribution to the front axle so it's pretty uh, it's a pretty neutral handling package this v8 sounds phenomenal I absolutely love it, it sounds so good it really pulls nice and hard. The brakes are phenomenal. Just an absolutely... Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, great brakes, awesome pedal feel. The 10 speed auto is perfect. I have no complaints about this transmission. Uh, same transmission that's in the Camaro. It's a really good box. It responds immediately to inputs for passing on the highway. It gives, always puts you in the right gear. It cruises at like 1500 RPM on the highway at 70 miles an hour. It's a really good transmission. It shifts quick, it's incredibly just intuitive and does exactly what you need it to do. And like I said earlier, I love these brakes. Pretty high cornering speeds from the Tahoe. You can kind of adjust the characteristics of the handling with a throttle, off throttle, you'll get a little bit more uh, turn in. On throttle, you get a little understeer. A lot of traction coming out of corners. This does have a little bit of a torque vectoring electronic limited slip diff in the rear, which is pretty cool. Let's talk a little about handling. Um, a little bit more body control, body motion than I anticipated with a magnetic ride, um, but it, it kind of lets you know that you're in a big SUV and this thing is heavy. Definitely doesn't hide its weight. It's not something, it's not a system that's gonna, you know, it's not gonna give you no body roll. It's not gonna really level out the chassis. 
but it is going to create a really nice, sophisticated ride quality to this truck. And um, I'm a big fan of the magnetic, magnetic ride. It works really well in this application. Um, it can be a little bit busy sometimes, but overall it rides really well and uh, performs great. It's just a nice, uh, it's a not, there's really not a whole lot of compromise between ride and handling in this. It's a very good system. GM's always been rocking with their magnetic ride. Uh, and pretty much any car that I've driven with it, it's been a very, very nice system. So I will say the steering in this is a little bit heavy. However, it has great feel for a truck that has really good steering. Um, it's a little bit heavier than probably is necessary, but it doesn't feel overly heavy or overly unassisted. I think um, it's just kind of a nice sporty weight and... Uh, definitely, you know, probably enhanced by the larger wheels on this truck. Uh, those can't be lightweight. So overall, I would say all the performance additions to this Tahoe really make it a pretty compelling package. Um, I find it a lot of fun to drive. It sounds great. It stops great. Uh, it does, it does good things in big ways. And uh, the price tag is a part of that. I think fully spec'd this car, this truck's about 78 grand, which is not cheap. Um, but for what you're getting, I mean, you really only, before now, you couldn't really get these features in anything except for the Denali and the Escalade. So um, think of it as a budget Escalade with uh, more performance features and just kind of a little bit more of a driver focused feel. One thing I do like about this truck is that it's just it's just a little bit it's got a little bit of a sense of humor. It's fun to drive and um, it seems to be pretty practical as well. There's a ton of interior space in here. Um, really roomy. I mean, you can just, you can fit anything in these things. They can tow 8,000 pounds. Um, it's a nice, nice package. One thing I have noticed is a little bit tough to see in the dark here, but um, maybe we can turn on the light. But the steering wheel feels quite a bit off-center from where your seat is. Or maybe the steering wheel is centered, but the seat isn't. As you can see here, my legs are a little bit off the driving position. And uh, that just took, it's just something that I noticed immediately when getting into the truck. And then I haven't really, it hasn't really bothered me uh, in the last few days that I've been driving this around. But just something to note. Um, I've noticed that in the Camaro and a few other vehicles uh, as well. So there's a lot to say about this thing. Um, from a performance standpoint, you know, it, it's not a track hawk. It's not a, uh, a really high performance SUV, but it has really good brake feel. These six piston Brembos just do a fantastic job bringing this thing down to a stop. It, uh, I think it looks really good. This is just a, it's a cool package and I think it looks good. It sounds nice. Um, you can't really go wrong with, uh, if you're interested in picking one of these up, you can't go wrong with the RST package, especially with the performance options. What else can I say about this? I mean, otherwise, you know, it's it's pretty standard Tahoe. You've got, you know, it, it it's nice. The the leather isn't that high quality feeling. Um, the leather on the seats is nice, but on the dash, this is kind of like a fake feeling leather. Uh, there's a lot of gaps and panels and things, um, but generally, you know, it's really well equipped. You've got all sorts of USB ports and places to plug things in and rear climate control heated cooled seats lots of cool features place to hide your drugs you know just all sorts of space and storage in the center console and look at that sunroof you've got a little fisheye camera to spy on your rear passengers it's pretty well equipped in here and uh, for 78 grand, if you're going to be spending it on a truck, uh, this is a really pretty good way to go. And uh, top marks for the 
for Chevrolet for finally doing some performance enhancement. It's been a while since they've come up with a, a sporty version of, a, of an SUV that hasn't been, a, um, you know, the, the Trailblazer SS or something like that. So those are getting a little bit old these days. And personally, I really like this white. I think it looks sharp and it's nice with the body color matched front grille. You've got that black Chevrolet badge, which has kind of become a sign of a higher end or special edition trim model on a lot of their vehicles. Nice aesthetics. I appreciate the polished black Borla exhaust tips. Those look really good. It matches the rest of the truck. So overall, Pretty good thoughts on this. I, um, I'm a fan. Definitely a nice package. I think that's going to wrap it up for this night video. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and um, we'll catch you in another video later. Take care.